Hello and welcome to Something RPG. We're back today and I just literally saw on Steam that there was a new survival game that came out yesterday, the 20th, and this will come out on the 21st, hopefully, if I get it done in time. And it is called Asuka. And all I saw on there was it was a single player or four player co op survival Viking game. And I wanted to check it out. This video will go into what the game actually has and we'll learn and play it together so you can see if it's something that interests you. Now I did notice as soon as I set up here there's a change character button. You can actually be Asuka or Ragnar. Ragnar looks kind of cool. It used to look like what I used to look like back in the day. Uh, what hairstyles do we have? Is there a bald ass man hairstyle? Because that's what I am now. With a big brown beard. There we go. Eye colors and we're blue. It hasn't got too much of a uh, sort of thingy system. And the guy cause like a, it, he kind of looks a little bit janky. But uh, it is what it is. Tattoo styles. Let's go in and have a look. Um, I, if you, I mean, if you know me, you know I have a lot of tattoos, and I'm kind of more like this. I don't have any facial tattoos, but I do have neck tattoos. All my arms are covered, my back, my leg, etc., etc. Uh, we're gonna go for black. We don't want it to be blue, and our skin color is white as snow, which is absolutely terrible. You can't name the. Oh, there's, there's different. What's this? Hunger. Influence of food depletion, so your base stats, you have higher vitality and the, uh, uh, we can just have a look quick. Higher intelligence and perception as the female and higher as the high vitality, stamina, hunger. Uh, vitality seems pretty decent. I think I'm going to go with the intelligence, certain professions and magic. Okay, we're going to go for Asgard. The game's name is Asgard, so we might as well just go for it. Let's change our hair a little bit. We want to change the hair color to black. I do like black hairstyles. Uh, what do we have? Do we have the side part in one? We do. We have that one. That's my favorite Viking style. No facial features needed. Eye color. We'll go for a yellow. Be a bit weird. Body. Tattoo style. We'll keep it like that. Black. There's not many colors there anyway. We'll go for black and skin color. Same as always. And click save. Okay. Back. Now let's go into... Let's see what the settings... Settings high quality. We'll go into ultra. I should be able to do it. Uh, resolution, we need to go up, we need to go up. Why is it set at so low? Where are we? So I've got 2560, 1440, where are you? There we go. Let's try it out on resolution, cap frame rate. Uh, it's got all the standard knobs and whistles there. So we'll just apply that. Let's see what it pops up as, and we'll go back out. It seems to be, look a little better. It looks a little bit more crisp. It did look a little bit bad, but we're going to go in and call the session game number one. You can generate... It's got seed generation, so you can have a different map every time you play it. It helps with the replayability. And we're going to go in and Sovereign RPG. Character name is Asuka. Uh, oh, I don't know what that 0 out of 9 is. Oh, that's the hairstyles. Customize. You can just pick male and female, depending if you want to do it here. And we're going to click on start and see what we get. Let's see if there's a little bit of an intro. Did you know you can pin construction sites to see the necessary resources for each building? So this is not a kind of mix survival with colony management. I do love a bit of colony management. I also love survival games, obviously. So hopefully it won't take too long to get into creating the world. I'll put a little skip in there if it does take a little bit too long. Now, it really didn't take too long to create and prepare the world. It took like two minutes, I believe. In it didn't take before, long at all. Oh, the wait. gods gave us the spark of ambition which lit the fires of creation. They gave us a world of our own, a home. They made us builders, warriors, legends. They gave us everything. But our hubris overcame us. We thought ourselves to be gods instead. We tore apart their memory, and so we were punished. Everyone, everything cast into the fire. Some of us were spared. <laughs> to start again. I have to say, that looks pretty damn awesome. That big giant thing looked pretty damn cool. Right, and then we're starting out on the map. It's, uh, things seem to be loaded in. What are you doing over there? Uh, what are we supposed to be? Are you gonna start just. I, I have no idea. Are you just... Oh, you just... Case me. I literally thought it was about to come for me. That would have been a really bad start. Jotun blood. We'll pick that up. I'm not sure what that's going to be used for. Magical resource. I guess for ca casting. Is it only in first... The third person? Okay, it's only in third person. So it doesn't seem like we have any... Let's have a look. See if there's... 
build map. Let's have a look at the menus. Search air. Oh, search area function. Got to reconstruct the Eye of Odin and rebuild your tribe. Do we, do we build that anywhere? I guess we're going to build that anywhere. It's God, he favors you. Resource finder. Uh, it seems like there's something over there. I don't want to miss anything. What is this? There's something on the mini map. Uh, is that just... I don't know what that is. I don't know. Maybe that's just the start point. So let's have a quick look in the inventory. We have some water pouches to contain water. I have all of our stats over here. Intelligence, etc, etc. Uh, that's just the standard inventory system. Let's have a look at the build menu. That's quite nice. Materials, bushcraft, tools, weapons, defenses, exterior lights, furniture making, storage. It's got all the standards. What is that over there and why is it glowing? I have no idea what that is, and I don't know if we should go over there. Let's try, see if we can build a weapon. Let's go, let's, let's see, can we build that? No, we can't, we can't build that either. What do we need? Resin and sticks. Let's try and find some wood then. What is all of this crap? What are you doing? What is that? Uh, wisdom Wisp, a helpful apparition. View hint. Ah, see, that was just a glowing blue thing, and the giant thing behind us in the water was a giant glowing blue thing. I just thought it was something to attack us. You can build a simple fire, you can find it under bush grub. It still burns out and disappears when the fuel is all used, and it requires fiber and sticks. So is it gonna, are we gonna be able to grab, uh, how do we grab stuff? Oh, we got right clicks. Oh, there we go. There's a bush grub. Let's hold E to gather. Okay. It gives us sticks. So let's hold down. It's not just every bush like we have in Ark, etc. Uh, hold R. We need to get an axe first. Let's grab some more sticks. We're obviously going to need a few of them. I can't see where if we have a weight button. I can see the food, water, and the coldness. It is pretty cold. And when we're gathering sticks, it's actually going into the backpack. That's quite a nice addition. We'll grab some thatch. I do like that. Grab some more thatch. I do like the fact that... It, and look, and it's even showing you the thatch on your backpack as you're going along. And that's quite cool. I really like the kind of little aspects of stuff like that. Um, there's something... Is that something moving over there? Or is that just the wind in the trees? Just the wind in the trees. You're being paranoid, Sovereign. No, no, it's not. That is not a bloody tree. That is a floating flower. What do you want? I haven't got any weapons. I've only just died. I don't want to die yet. Do not let me bloody die. Oh, small stone. Is it worth grabbing a small stone before the, the whatever the fly creature comes and gets us? Did I pick it up? I don't know if I picked it up. What's that? We need to find, what was it, reed? We need to find some reed. So I guess in the reeds will be close to the water because reeds grow next to water. They, they kind of look like reeds here. This looks like reeds. Is this reeds? Yes, that is reeds. So we're grabbing more thatch. We already grabbed some of that. I thought reeds was a separate thing. We're going to the build menu. Uh, what was it that we needed to make this? Uh, we needed more sticks. We need one more stick and we need resin. Where am I getting resin from? I'm guessing that's from cutting down trees. We've got food source, mussels on the beach here. So that will be, I mean, I'm not sure why there's mussels next to there. Mimir favors you. G, new deed completed. What deeds do we have? What is this little god's feet? Discover water source in nature. Okay, uh, these give you the god of memory knowledge. Mimir knows everything that was ever was and is council of the gods. I'm guessing this is going to be like, uh, is this leveling? So this is like, I guess your like basic starting quests. And it will give you all of the different, this is the help section, I guess. And then we have the info. This is going to be items like food and mussels and fish. I've got a settlement storage. Let's have a quick look at some of the other ones. There's a build last button. So that's going to... Why am I glowing blue? Has it just become nighttime or what? So I've, so I've got your normal cold and wet. I just literally jumped in the water. So I should be cold and wet still. Or re-colded and wet. Let's grab a little bit more food while we're here. And then we'll have a look at some of the other stuff. We'll click H for the tutorial. And this gives us all the gathering resources, establish a camp, first tools, hammers and hoes. There's other things in here like the advanced production, warehouse and storage, housing and furniture, all of the information that you'll need to craft it. I'm guessing we're going to be using that in a little while. Uh, what else do we have over here? Let's grab some more stones. Is that a stone? Can I grab you? It seems like um, you have to keep that little dot. I was just looking at it down. I'm so used to being in like arc where you just literally... Oh, when I held E, it kind of... T so if I go over there, that's pointing at the reeds. So it will run you over there if you just point in that direction. We levered up in gathering. So there are different ways. The more you do different things, it's kind of like... Um, what was that game back in the day where you, you leveled by leveling skills, not by... What was that survival game? It's like 
something mortis vax mortis or something like that it was some sort of name like you no longer feel well hydrated what are you it's that bloody plant thing again i don't want to fight anyone just yet uh let's head over and check out what we got on the map let's see how big this map is the map seems like it's a decent size i mean it's not massive oh god we're about to get hit oh just missed me good times what's this blue thing i don't need it I don't want it. What is that over there? That looks kind of mystical. I'm not sure what that is, to be perfectly honest. Joke and blood shards. Hold R. It requires pickaxes. So that's going to be your kind of... We need more sticks because I need to get a weapon. I don't want to go into those bloody things over there. Everything seems okay so far with the gathering, etc. I do like... Uh, what was that? I just saw something. That was the tree. So let's try and build a weapon. I think we need resin. What's flimsy club? We still need resin. We need resin, this one needs bone fragments, bows need string, uh, what do we got over here? Let's build a simple fire. We need fibers, fibers found in flax bushes. Flax bushes should be white flowered plants. There's no, what just happened? What went down? Everything, I pressed the search button and all the plants dissipated. That's kind of cool. So you can see if there's stuff on the floor, small stone for example, hidden under the grass. I wish Ark would take something from that. Ark Survival Ascended. Considering how long the grass is, you can't even see your baby dinos if you're anywhere near it. Uh, reeds. I need a flax bush. We need to find out what a flax bush looks like. Then we can start on the building side of things. Uh, 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 I might put some skips in here if there's... Oh god, there's another... What is... The, can, can I... Pu let's punch it. <laughs> Boom. Okay, it's just doing one damage. We're taking damage. Not too much damage, luckily. We're going to keep punching it. We run out of stamina, I think. Oh, we got hit by five damage. Can you dodge? I can't see a dodge button. There's the crouch button. We don't need a crouch button. It's throwing stuff at me. There we go. What do we get? Collective fibers. So killing that collective fibers. And I didn't see if it gave us XP or not. Where is... Let's go to the inventory and see if the... That's where we'll find certain things. We have sticks and thatch, etc. We do have... What's this over here? This is muscles for food. Let's... Oh, God. There's another... There's another one. There's loads of them. Let's see if we can jump out of the way of stuff. Maybe run around in a circle. Oh god, we're gonna hit by a lot. We're gonna hit them both at the same time and just use heavy punches. Oh, it's unconscious. So, not unconscious, it's dazed. So we can punch it with the right hand. You can daze whatever you're attacking. Is this thing throwing stuff at me? The heavy punch can daze it. The fighting system is not that great, to be perfectly honest. Um, I'm, I'm not a fan of just spam clicking buttons and I don't even, I can't even see if there's a dodge or anything. We got fibers off of that. Let's collect that, pick that up. Wisp waste, Thor favors you. Let's have a look and see what that means. Kill a few wisps. Um, okay, I can't really tell what this does for you. Slay a wolfar, kill a white. I don't, if, if we're fighting those bloody wisps, uh, left shift to roll away from danger. Um, oh, so you just tap it. Tap it in a direction. Okay, that's why I couldn't see it. Rolling. This is why you need to go into those uh, bars. Normally, it's like a alt button or something like that. It's not going to be the same button as your sprint in action. Uh, these should be flax. I'm really sure that white flowers, these should be flax. Maybe we need something else to get it. We need to... Guess we need to cook. What are these? These... Don't, they're just they're just all looking flowers uh there i thought that was a glowy majiggy thingy what was that uh small stone uh what was the button to search area z z let's see that so they actually pop up stone clump we do need a pickaxe for that what's this over here no nothing let's press search again it actually gets uh what's this over here reads it turns a slightly different color uh that plant over there looks like i'm really not finding this uh there's stones uh there's something glowing in the dark over there let's go have a look where's the flax plants is what i'm confused about like it doesn't look like that big of a map to be perfectly honest let's speak to this guy let's see what's up view hint press b okay we we know but i haven't got the stuff i need to make a simple fire i'd have two fibers found in flax bushes thatch and bark indispensable in creating clothes armor what i'm confused so are we getting thatch or are we getting okay that's not the right one Let's have a look. It's getting really dark. Oh, but that shows us where everything it glows. So at nighttime, you can see it much better. Let's grab these thatch, thatch. Uh, did we get flax from killing those? Let's go kill another one. See if our HP has not gone up. Let's eat something. Fresh mussels. Did that give us HP or did it not give us HP? Uh, let's grab a little bit more. Now I know that there's a dodge button. We'll actually do a bit of dodging and not get slapped by monsters. Oh, God. But, no, that wasn't the right way. Coming in. 
This could be a punch. I can't. Why can't? Why aren't you moving? There we go. Let's go punch it a little bit more. Okay, that wasn't the, the fighting. I don't know. Maybe I'm just really bad at it. But I actually saw that the right punch doesn't isn't the thing that actually knocks it out. It has a bar underneath, like when you're fighting bosses and say Final Fantasy or something. Every time you hit, it will lower it down a little bit. So we got fibers. Okay, we get fibers off of killing those things. I should have seen that from the first place. And we got a stick. So let's go in and create ourselves a flimsy club. No, nope, because you need resin. Why would you need anything else? So let's create the campfire then, I guess. Build the campfire. We're going to build the campfire right here. Uh, supply. Okay, there we go. Welcomes you. Uh, R to add fuel. Hold E to ignite. And we're going to ignite it. Simple fire menu. Hold T to open the menu. Structure menu. Upgrade or create add-ons for this structure. Dismantle the entire stru structure and or only add-ons it might have. Let's have a quick look. So we do have an upgrade button. An improved fire site doesn't disappear if all fuel has been burned up. Gets extinguished by rain. Can be upgraded to campfire, which can be in turn upgraded to barbecue and cover. Okay. So we do need some small stones and some sticks to upgrade that. What do we have for add-ons? No add-ons available. No, we don't want to dismantle. We don't want to upgrade it yet. So what do we do? Let's just add fuel. What does this do? Get rid of cold? We need to drink some water. Let's see if getting in this water actually fills up your... No, it doesn't. So how do we... Do we fill up? How do we fill up? How do we fill up the water? Because I just wasted all that time. Uh, let drop. Change slot. Assign to quick bar. Uh, drop used. It doesn't show anything else on there. Maybe I'm being a little bit special not sure we can only hold one large item we can hold this many medium items and we can hold quite a lot of small items doesn't look like there's going to be the sort of weight system is it sea water is that why i can't drink it because it kind of looks like the water's just on a level and when the floor glows below can you see how the ocean is just like it's a bit janky i guess Press the simple fire structure menu from there upgrade an add-ons page and upgrade to the simple fire to a campfire okay what do you want? Let's hit you a few times. Dodge. That is really slow. Even though I saw it coming. Let's try and gunk punch it. And we knock it down with a heavy punch. Again, that's going to be kind of like melee combat level one. Okay, medium wisp. But that was what we said earlier. I just want to pick up the fibers this guy dropped. Give me all the fibers. Because I don't want to have to fight too bloody many of you just yet. Uh, we'll grab some small stones because we needed a few of those to upgrade the fire. Let's just follow the tutorial a little bit. Um, and then once I get this built, I'll jump to it. We're running low on a bit of HP. Um, I, try, I just got jumped by one of those bush creatures again. We gathered some muscles again. Let's go upgrade this campfire. I think we have enough to upgrade it. We'll go check it out. Let's have a look. There's something walking over there. Uh, exit, we're gonna go to build the campfire, we need some more sticks Go find some sticks Uh, it was like tree type things Where are we? Where's the sticks? What's this on the floor? There was something over here, fibers, I left some fibers, that's not good for anyone Oh god, it's- Get out of dodge! God damn it Let's knock it down, let's knock it down Dive for- Ay, 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 ay Right, we got some sticks off of this guy. Let's have a look for some more. There's some fibers down here. Uh, a couple more fibers. Let's grab those. Is that a stick? No, it's just more fibers. We need sticks. Where are the sticks at? Uh, I'm hoping this gets a little bit more interactive once the, the gameplay. Because the survival side of this kind of feels like a mobile game, to be perfectly honest. Uh, it's very basic but this is just the beginning what is that there's something guarding that over there i haven't seen any there's a stick over here i see the i see the tree we'll grab these sticks all together sticks okay we've got two sticks there we haven't got any logs yet grab some we'll grab a couple more sticks just in case this should be enough gathering level nine leveled up lovely jabbly we haven't got any water though i need to figure out how to fill up my water bucket my water bucket my water bottle because i just wasted the crap out of it so let's upgrade this guys has been telling us to do for a while okay we upgraded to a campsite open simple fire menu i don't need that open anymore uh let's have a look upgrade to a campfire and improve fire site okay so now we're going to look for the hint guy we have a bit of fuel add fuel add fuel add fuel okay there's fire let's have a look what do you say now we already did that we already did your hint 
So what's next? What we got to do next? They survive. So you got to survive a certain... Ah, oh, because it's going to be... If you see how long you can survive the longest time. Uh, I need to find a way to heal. Where's the build menu? Build menu. Where's the healing stuff? Decorations, etc. Basic production. Cave entrance. Woodcutter's pit. Bushcraft. Shelter. Uh, materials. Rope. What do we need to make a rope? Okay, so let's try and get a bow going. Uh, we're going to get this. We're going to get this. going to craft a bow. Everybody needs a bow. What do we need to make arrows? We need feathers. Okay, that 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 was okay. Yep, that wasn't worth building because I can't find any feathers just yet. Let's head off into the bush a little bit. Um, I'm not sure why we're not getting... Uh, can you... I no longer feel as strong. You're warming up beside the fire. Okay. Let's stand there for a little bit, see if there is. We've got jump, space, light attack, heavy attack. Q is block. So we can block an attack. Emote. Sit, wave, cheer. Okay, good times. That was a very cheerful cheer. Uh, I'm not sure where our H... I'm not sure how to fill our HP at. Let's have a look. Uh, ship making, housing, advanced production, magic. Uh, Eye of Odin. Fuel it with Jotun blood to attract new villagers. We need to grab stones, large stones, but that means we need a pickaxe. Where's our, where's our pickaxes and stuff? Uh, da -da -da. I didn't see tools. Did you see tools anywhere? Decorations, uh, defenses, material tools. Okay, here we go. Uh, terrain level the field. We want. Um, let's get a stone axe. Let's see what we need. A stone axe, stone blade. Okay, we need a stone blade. Can I craft this item? Missing component, rope, stick. So where's the stone blade? The stone blade gonna be in the other menu. I'm guessing. Here we go. Five times stone blade. We need to get some more stones. So let's go and grab some more stones. Use the search function. Pick up some stones around here. This is kind of the early game stuff. It's kind of it's gonna be the same with most survival games where you're just gathering stuff on a beach. What's that on the floor? More fibers. We can't ever get enough fibers. The more stones. Uh, we should have clicked the track button to be honest. Let's go in here. Stone blade. There was a track button. Craft stone blade. So we've got five stone blades from that. We're going to go into our tools and get a stone axe. Okay, lovely jubbly. What do we need for pickaxe? I need another rope. So let's go in and make a rope. Oh, we could have made just one stone blade. Uh, I made five. It, it, it just works. We'll probably need it later. Let's grab this and make the stone pick. And now we can start, I guess, gathering some much higher level stuff. So let's have a look, see what's where. I need a stone or something. I saw loads of them earlier, and now I can't see any. What's this guy going to say to us now? Say something intelligent. Say something I can use. Uh, it's still telling us to do the dismiss. We'll click dismiss. Thank you very much. Uh, or what do we have over here? All right, we can grab this. Hold R to harvest because we got the axe out. It's gonna take a minute to cut this tree down for damn sure. Um, gives long sticks. That's a young fir. We need. What do we need? Because the next part is to actually our HP is going down. Uh, tree stump. Okay. Gives long sticks. Gives firewood. Let's harvest the firewood. Ah, this is gonna be one of those survival games where you're actually just gonna sit here chopping trees and you have to hold a button down for a while. I don't know if I'm gonna enjoy that. I spent a long time, then you gotta pick it up afterwards. Let's try and knock this down, see if it's gonna give us some long sticks. Firewood's gonna help a lot more, I guess, with the pit. So we're gonna try and go and do that in a second, see if it gives it more of a percentage. Uh, we need to pick this up. Bark, 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 bark. Lovely jubbly. Resin. We got some resin. We can make a weapon. We can make a weapon. We've now got enough resin. We've got sticks everywhere. Inventory full. We need to craft a box. Where's our campfire? Where's our campfire? Let's try and eat those. You feel stronger. Let's try and eat another one and another one. And another one. Okay. So muscles give you water as well. Uh, we need to add resupply. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Pin recipe. No, we don't want a pin recipe. Uh, resupply. Okay. No fuel. Add fuel. There's some firewood we just got from cutting down a tree. Add more fuel. That didn't add hardly anything. What's it adding? Bark. Okay. Uh, da -da -da. Hold E to ignite. We're not going to do that just yet because I don't want to waste it. Uh, we're going to go in here. Let's see if we can make a shelter. As in the sports one villager allows characters to sleep, restoring lost health. Okay. That's what we need to get. So we need long sticks three. We need two ropes, eight sticks, and eight bark. So we're going to have to cut down some more trees. 
Uh, I don't know. Where was it? There was no box there, no? We've got thatch. Loads of thatch. There's sticks. Fibers. We have no sticks. We need to get rid of some of this thatch, I guess. Let's drop some of this. Drop, 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 drop. Uh, put that over there. Put that there. Uh, da, da, da. What else? There's Jotun stuff over here. Muscles. Right, let's go and try and grab that tree again. Let's see if there's a tree closer. Maybe we should have built a little bit further away from the beach rather than that close. Let's go have a look over here. We'll try and chop down this tree. Let's chop down this tree here. Young fur. Another, I don't know, 15 seconds-ish to do the gathering. Um, I would actually like this kind of game. I do enjoy this kind of game, but I have to be in the right frame of mind for it. Like right now I am because it's a new game. Weak tool. Why is it a weak tool? It's too weak to do the tree stump. We don't want the tree stump. We want to actually, we need to get the long sticks, but I guess we don't have enough inventory space for the three long sticks. So if we drop on the floor, will it just disappear after some time or what happens? Right. There's a stick. Resin, resin, resin. Give me the resin. Because we're going to make some weapons in a bit. Uh, long stick, pick up. Okay, can we pick up more than one long stick at a time? Okay, let's head over here with a long stick. And go to our campfire. And drop it off because we need to make a shelter. Sprint over. I'd like to get some of my HP back. Right, how do we drop on the floor? Okay, we'll drop it on the floor there. Let's drop some of this stuff. Because it looks like we can just drop on the floor here. There, uh, I pressed the wrong button. Uh, go into inventory. What was the drop button? X. So we'll drop all this stuff on the floor here. We'll keep uh, this stuff around. Drop some stone blades. We'll drop the resin and the fibers. And let's go and get some more of those logs. Let's go. Uh, I'll be back in a second once I grab those three logs. This really does remind me of, Val of Valheim. Like, it reminds me a lot of Valheim in the way that it plays, in the way that it looks. Uh, quite a lot. I think the map is going to be a hell of a lot smaller. But maybe with that bit over there with the boat, we're going to fight the big guy and we'll be able to go to different maps. I'll have to look more into that. Uh, I didn't really check. I haven't checked anything. I just literally saw this on Steam and got it. Because that I, I really do enjoy. Wood harvesting went up to level 6. Uh, I need to find out where that is. Um, you got injured while working. What did I injure? What did I injure? Why is it injuring me? So we can get that from... I want to check out... The thing. main thing I want to check out is the colony building and the NPCs that they call intelligent NPCs. That's what I really want to look at. Like, I really want to check that out. Uh, I wonder if I can go in to get some of this water because I don't know how to do that. Let's try. It's not letting me do it. I'm not sure. Uh, let's go into here and shelter. We need three long sticks found in smaller trees. Okay. Two rope. We need eight bark and two rope. So let's go see if we can find some of that bark. I'm not sure because it wouldn't let us pick up the uh, all three of the logs. So I'm not sure how it's going to let us do that. Uh, there's bark. Let's search over here so we can grab this bark. Bark. We want the bark. We don't want the tree stump. We want the bark. Sticks. Searching again. Sticks. Okay. And we need to make some rope. I don't need you. Um, da, 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 da. Is there any more bark around? Because I did break this tree down over here as well. Doesn't look like there's any more bark around. Let's see if we can actually get something from this this whole jotun blood okay oh god that's gonna no we won't do that that's gonna take a bloody while yeah we won't be doing that one uh da, da, da. we need some more bark so let's cut down another tree gives logs we can't do that if you do this for too long i guess you get injured if you go down with your stamina too low maybe i'm not sure it just kind of popped up on the screen it, it's not very i mean it's pretty standard for survival games but if you're a new player looking at this you're gonna be i, I think you'll be a little bit overwhelmed to be perfectly honest uh let's cut this guy up because it's got like every aspect of every survival game i've ever played is here yes but i can see it being a little bit difficult for certain people i i'm not sure how i would uh describe that but it's like if i didn't know 
what I was doing in general from playing survival games for so long, I think there may be a little bit of trouble here. But most survival gamers, we're, we've been playing survival games for a long time. So let's go and run over here and see if we can get this going right. Also, let me know if you want me to make guides on this. I don't know if you guys would like the game or not. We should definitely check it out. We've got Simple Torch over here. Let's do this bushcraft. Shelter. It's asking me for free sticks. We need two sets of rope. So let's grab some of these fibers. There's seven fibers. Okay. I'm going to craft some rope. We want two rope. One, two. Two rope. So we've got two rope. So oh, we want two rope. We want one more bark and two more sticks. Do we have any bark here? We have two bark. Lovely jubbly. I didn't see any sticks though. There's some resin. Where's the... There's thatch, 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 thatch. We need to grab some normal sticks. And then figure out how the hell we put the uh, uh, the other part of it, the long sticks, into the building mode, I guess. Uh, we want sticks. How many sticks did we say we needed? Why am I asking you guys? You can't answer me right now. That's kind of uh, inventory full. I should have just checked. Uh, we have everything we need apart from the three long sticks. Which kind of is just like not a stick. It's a log. Okay, let's... We can't... Okay, we can't pick that up. Why can't we pick that up? So let's try and do it this way, I guess. You must build a campfire. It's there. It's literally... Ah, oh, we need to upgrade. I'm just being special. Right, no, wait. Let's not light it. Let's upgrade to a campfire. What do we need? Small stones and sticks. We need small stones again and sticks. Why? It is a campfire. We'll supply it. Campfire. Missing supplies. What do we need? Stone. Oh, because we need to make it again. You need to make it again. Okay, sweet. Let's go grab some stones. I'm making, I'm making uh, some rookie-ass mistakes here for the moment. Uh, stones. More stones. Give me more stones. Is there a rock? What's this over here? Mussels. We've got loads of food. I do need to find out how to do the bloody water because I've tried every button. Uh, let's try... How do we... Oh god, I hit that by accident. Cold and wet. Uh, cold. Okay. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Right. Campfire, campfire, campfire. Required supplies. Supply. We need three more stones. Just give me three more stones. Rolling and dodging and rolling and dodging. Uh, god, let's grab this one and resupply this into a campfire. There we go. Warmest welcome. We made it into a campfire. Uh, do we have enough fuel in here? Okay, so let's make a shelter. Rain collector. Okay, that's how I'm guessing this is how. So this requires long stick. Let's make a shelter first and build our little shelter. Let's turn it around. Q&E turns it around. And they're already pre-built structures. So missing equipment. What do we need? Uh, we need hoes to level out the ground. Okay, so tools. Uh, ho, ho, ho. You need everything to do this. Wooden hoe. We need stone blades and sticks. We got the sticks. Where's the stone blades? Stone blades, stone blades, stone blades. I did have some on the floor. I did have a load of them. Why don't I have them anymore? Is this them there? Stone blade. Lovely jubbly. Let's make the tools. Wooden hoe. Craft. We'll use this. Level. Okay. We'll level the ground. Leveling the ground changes the color. Level and level. So now we need missing supplies. We need to pick up these long sticks. They said we needed three, but it seems like we need a lot more. One. Luckily, we grabbed these over here already. Just to bring it over. Two. Let's grab the last one. Okay, we need hammer. We need a hammer now. I should have just really just built all of this stuff first. Wooden hammer, two sticks. Craft in. Wooden hammer. Can we put this down now or what? Wooden hammer. Okay, hold to build. And then it's going to ask for all the other stuff. Do we need... I guess we added the stuff we had in our inventory. I'm not really sure, but we need to create a... Uh... Okay, there's part of it. We need sticks. What else do we need? What else do we need? Supplies required. Q, pin recipe. Okay, there we go. We need a long stick and seven smaller sticks. So let's put that in there. And we need to go and grab seven smaller sticks. So we need to go back over to the tree. I should have built up here. Should have built on top of that hill, to be honest. When we start to build the town, I guess, we're going to build up on the hill so we have a nice viewpoint. Uh, we do need to grab some more of these. So we'll grab some sticks here. And we need to grab those three logs back to create the rain rainwater thing so we don't die. I feel like we're going to die soon because of not having water. We've only got 25% left. So we'll go and grab that. Um, grab these three logs and stick it over there and start creating the rainwater. Do 
So we're on day one survived. Maybe we're gonna get attacked by uh like the day one's just finished. We're going to day two. There's the north that way. Okay. Uh where is the rest of these sticks? I need more sticks. Please give me more sticks. I need five more. And then we'll carry one of the big logs over. Search fun that search function is nice. I really like that. It really helps with us being able to find stuff. Let's head back over and finish off building this shelter so we can get our HP back up. We need to build the rainwater and see what's going on from there. Now we need the eight bark. I really, oh God, we're picking up the wrong thing. Build one more, build that, supply, hold E to build. We need to get this thing going, Jesus. Yeah, I'm on. This video is going to be two hours long just to see if it's worth it or not. I just want to get to the colony building side of things, to be honest. Right, we'll go to sleep and see if it, it's going to... We'll see if we get attacked during the night. Are we losing cold and water? Are we going to wake up with the first? I feel like we should wake up. I feel like we should wake up and get that thing built first. I was being a bit special there let's set up uh we'll build this rain collector build we'll build that just on this side over here we need to level the ground Boop. level the ground on our next one but what do we need to craft this now let's pin the recipe we need sticks and long sticks there's one long stick there we'll go grab the other stuff and we'll put it in there real quick And we'll go and grab that last long stick and grab those couple of other little sticks. Hopefully we can find something. There isn't a whole last tree. There's some sticks there. How many do we need? Three. So luckily there is actually just three here. So let's go finish off that rainwater. Because we're really running out of water here. We're getting, we're cutting it a bit close. I don't want to die on the first day. Like I don't want to die on the first day. Sprinting, 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 sprinting. Hold to build. Come on, we need rainwater. We need water. It hasn't even rained yet, I don't think. I don't think that... Oh, oh, our, our stamina might go down to too low. Let's wait a second. And stamina, I don't want to chance it. Hold E to drink. Lovely, there we go. Woo! Collects water during rainfall. Okay, how do we fit? Hold E to drink. We drink. We drunk enough. We're okay for now. We're okay to survive. Let's go and sleep and get our HP up. Go to sleep. And then we'll have a look at the manage house function. We feel energized. We're still asleep. Our HP is slowly going up, but it might take a long time. Is it going to rain anytime soon? Our coldness doesn't seem to be going down at all, so I'm not sure if that's a thing because of the, the game is an early access or if that if we just haven't hit winter yet. I'm guessing we're going to need some more clothes, etc. Let's go into the lab. We can actually look at stuff while we're in here. So magic, the Eye of Odin. Fill it with Jotun blood. Okay, we can build the Eye of Odin, but I want to build that on top of that hill over there. It seems like it would be a much... Or should we just have a coastal village? We'll just have a coastal village. Why not? We didn't get that much HP, to be perfectly honest. Let's light this campfire. It's got 117% fuel, so hopefully this will, like... You are warming up beside the fire. Lovely jubbly. Okay, next up, we're going to build the Eye of Odin. Let's build that and get this stuff going. Eye of Odin, build... Let's have that centered around here. We can't build on top of that, I guess. Okay. We'll build that here for now. Uh, e too far away. Let's level it and we'll get it building. We're going to pin the recipe. Press Q to pin the recipe. We need sticks, small stones, and long sticks. More long sticks. God, these long sticks. I picked the worst bloody place to build this. So far away. Let's grab some of these little stones. Once we see them, pick up that long stick and head back to level this Eye of Odin. Maybe we'll bring some villagers and we can actually send them off to start gathering stuff for us. That's what uh, the, the interested me about it, the gathering aspect. We'll stick that in there. We still need five small stones and one long stick and eight sticks. There's got to be something around here that, that will be sticks that's not these long trees. I'm getting thirsty. No, you're not. You're 50%. You almost died a minute ago. Why are you worrying about that now? Uh, stick. Okay, one stick. 
It seems like everything stays here for a good long while, which is lucky. Right, stick. We've got two, three, four, uh, five sticks. What's that? Is that feathers? Are you feathers? Fallen bird's nest. Gather. Give me all your feathers. Because I want to craft some... Okay, cool. We'll be able to craft some... What's that? A mushroom? Grey mushrooms. Food source. Nice. What do we have up here? There seems to be there seems to be a stone. Oh, okay. That scared the crap out of me. We do get some mushrooms, but what's this stone here? Okay, let's hold stone clump. Give stones. That's a lot of tapping we're gonna have to do. Is there any stones coming off of it in time, or is it? No, it's not. Okay, that's gonna take a good long while. Uh, what do we have over this way? Sticks gives us some sticks. Lovely jubbly. Uh, fallen bird's nest. Let's grab us some more. Feathers, so we can have some more arrows when we craft those. Gathered wild eggs as well. We'll have to cook those at some point. The weather is clearing. We should have a load of water in that rain now. New tree is growing. Okay. Lovely. Let's cut this down because we need one more stick. It doesn't have that. Oh, what happened there? Did it grow while it was going? I'm confused. Uh, grab the long sticks. What happened? Wood harvest. Lovely. We're going to need a long stick, but we also need these. That's resin. Let's pick up that. Uh, stick. We have eight sticks. Now we need the stones along the way. Let's grab some of these stones. Small stone. Small stone. Small stone. We just need one more. Can we carry it? We can. Let's go make the Eye of Odin and start gathering. What are you? What is that? Oh, I thought that was a person standing there. It's literally just... What, what does that mean? Manage house. Let's put this in here first and build this so we can have it set up. We're coming nighttime. Our HP is still okay, luckily. Uh, I'm not sure what that lightning bolt is down there. It doesn't show us what it is. Uh, what does this do? Mastery of gathering, preparing for wood. So range combat, three, novice. Range combat, XP multiplier. How fast do you gain range combat experience? Do we gain that quicker? We can't really click anything. Do we gain skinning quicker? Why did it not? Oh, there we go. Okay, now we need to put... What? What? What's that? What is that? Large stones. We need to go break down one of those big-ass stones. Let's go into the manage... Uh, villages that are already assigned to the household, they can be dismissed. Villages that are homeless and can be assigned to this household. Uh, villages that already have a household, the number of villages that can be housed here. Okay. Uh, assign workers. We haven't got any. We haven't got any. Uh, there's no... There's not nothing there to show me, man. There's no workers there. Rename shelter. Uh, coast. Bill. God, that's terrible. Don't ever, don't, don't, I'm crappy at names. Coastville, Coast Vile. I can't even spell it. Uh, open shelter menu, but I saw like exclamation points. So why is it not, what is it doing? Okay. Okay. I, I don't know what it's doing. We have to go break down those big rocks. So we'll go start hitting that big rock and we'll get back with those two stones. Right. Hitting that rock again. Let's, uh, <laughs> we'll put a little skip in there until this 300 HP has gone down. Is, is that actually stuff falling off? What's that? Large stone. So it, it did actually fall off beforehand. There's a small stone. Let's grab that small stone while we're going past. We'll grab this large rock. That's better than uh, having to hit it for 300 HP. What's that? Was that another big rock? No, that was a mushroom. Don't need any more mushrooms. They are magic enough and we have some. Let's head back. We're going to, I guess we're going to craft that into like that giant rock into another one. Into like craft it into the eye itself. And then we'll be able to summon the villagers. So literally that i think the exclamation marks because it's saying we have a villager but we need to craft this first so let's put that in there we need one more you added building materials to the eye of odin okay sweet uh left control oh it's got all the controls over there on the side i didn't even see that to be perfectly honest that's my bad so uh, we need to get water after this we'll grab one more large stone and hopefully we can recruit someone to start doing some of this stuff for us uh where's that big rock on there it is hold r to harvest we need another big rock off here. Yeah, come on. Give me another one. Don't keep me going for too long. Uh, da, da, da. As I said earlier, if you want to see more of this game, please let me know down in the comments and I'll make some guides for it. Can we carry two at once? No, we can't. Of course we can't. Why would we be able to? Because it's too bloody heavy. As I say, and if you want me to create some guides for this uh, and, and play this game some more, that's really up to you guys. Um, I will probably play this until like the end game because it is an early access. So if there's things that you'd like to see in the game, just let me know and I'll sort it out. Right, we've now started to finish off the Eye of Odin. We've got no stamina left. I do need to drink some of this water. Lovely. And how do we hold to gather water into our pouch? Let's gather it all because there's 10 in here and then at least we can drink 
We will eat something in a moment, but I don't know if I want to eat that mushroom. It doesn't seem like something that I should do, to be perfectly honest. And we've got full everything. Okay, we're gravy for the moment. we figured out how to survive. Now let's get some vintages to do the bloody work for us. Okay, the Eye of Odin, the storage is there. What do you store in here? What do you store in here? We can't upgrade anything yet. Uh, not enough fuel to activate. It's over here. I believe I left it. Did I drop it all on the floor? Let us go to sleep for a little bit. Get our HP up a little bit more. How long does our HP go up for? I'm guessing because it's the first structure, the HP doesn't... It goes up just really small amounts. You feel energized. So we just gain more stamina from sleeping. Our HP is still going up even after the timer. That was just for the energized buff. We haven't got anything out here to kill yet. So we got nothing on the assigned workers. Uh, I should probably change the name of that. Because that's going to wind me up otherwise. Coastville. You know what? Baskerville because Asker. I don't know. It's really bad. Don't don't blame me for this stuff. Uh, open shot. I don't know why that's got the exclamation point. There's nothing there. Okay, open storage. We need to put five of these in here, I guess. I'm gonna put that over there, over there, over there, and over there. Let us activate. So we get Asa or Era. Storm Raider Ani Storm Rider. I'm weather sensitive and I have reduced productivity during heavy rain. Uh, resilient surge. I find my inner strength for my health is at its lowest. This grants me a burst of stamina to continue fighting or completing essential tasks. Nice. So inner strength when the health is at lowest. Forager's instinct and rain dancer. I have a mystical connection with the rain. When it falls, it uplifts my spirits, filling me with joy. This one's definitely gonna be better now. We've got three other ones over here, but that looks creepy as hell, I have to say. So we'll grab Asa. Asa, where are ya? Are you, are you gonna literally pop out that, 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 uh, I'm not even gonna try to explain. Active and running. Okay. Where's, where's my people? Where, manage house. Assign workers. We've got no workers here yet. Why has it got low HP? Did I hit it by accident? Uh, add fuel. Okay. We've got some more here. How does this work? Active and running. Attracts villagers. So where's my bloody villager? I guess we should try to build something while we're doing that. Exterior lights, flimsy torch, stone lantern. What do we have over here? Builder resource, building resources marker. Designate an area for builders to find resources. Nice. Food foraging, can we make one of those? It doesn't seem like we, you must build a gatherer's pit. Okay, resource marker. Let's build one of those and we'll build it over here so they can grab all the stone and the wood in an area. And we'll put it up here i guess we'll put it there so we can build it pretty damn close so we need what do we need for this pin the recipe sticks and rope can i craft a rope right now let's go in and rope let's craft a rope yes we can craft a rope and we need three sticks is there any sticks about there's one any more sticks do we have any more sticks Gotta be a stick around here somewhere. Been chopping down trees all day long. Where is the sticks? Found a little bit of a natural, so there's natural water just lying in rocks and stuff. So I just found that. So that's pretty. I should have like figured that stuff out before. We have to cut down some trees, I guess. Let's cut down this one over here because it's close. And we have the tree down, but then we have to cut the second part. It's going to sit up there. Okay, cool. Right, we got everything we need. Let's build this bad boy, supply it, and build. There's my people over there yet. How long does it take to summon these? Oh, there we go. Time until arrival of the next villager. Seven minutes. we got to wait a while. So that one's set up. We'll show radius. Uh, okay. I uh, can't see how far that was. That was a pretty decent distance, I do believe. I have Odin. Resource marker. Okay. Okay. Baskerville. Shipwreck. That's where we started. What's this saying? What do you want? Five Jotun blood and I have only some of your foot. You'll be presented with the option of choosing one or two villages. Be mindful of the perks and your needs. Okay. So if we... Ah, uh, we're going to need... What do we need to get that Jotun rock over there because we might be able to summon we might want to get it ready to summon another one if we build a house so that summon uh, that new villager can stay in there and we i think because there's conjugation visits uh would be the word for it 
We're going to have to get a male for the next one to keep their happiness up. Let's get this Jotun and Blood. Gives Jotun and Blood shards. HP goes down when you're injured, so you have to be quite careful with that. You can be injured at any moment gathering, so it's definitely a good idea to uh, sleep often. God, this thing is taking forever. Is there stuff here I can pick up yet? Jotun and Shard. That's just rocks, small stones. No, we actually have to... Uh, we actually have to beat the crap out of this. For the whole thing, I'm guessing. There's one shard. How many shards are we getting out? There's a lot of rocks and not many shards, to be perfectly honest. But I'm guessing there's not going to be something the... Ouch, a splinter. I got damaged from a splinter. So all those splinters are pretty damn bad, to be perfectly fair. They're some of the worst ones. I had a... Big ass splinter go under my nail once. That was one of the most painful experiences I've ever been through. And we're almost there. Filling up this thing. Is it going to give me any more than two? We got two. Two Jotun blood out of that whole thing. Uh, we'll grab some of these small stones. Because we're probably going to need those bad boys at some point. And we'll grab this large stone just in case. That actually took a lot from our pick uh what we'll do is we'll start grabbing some of those big sticks over there as well to make another hut and try and get some more joe and blood to get another villager i just want to see if the villagers work and how it works because that is the last aspect of this early access i do believe and then it's just building from here to there so let's uh drop this uh drop drop the stone how close are we? We've got four minutes left, so we might as well just grab the uh, st uh some more sticks and stuff and i'll be back when they're closer to the four minutes We're actually getting pretty close to our first villager turning up now. We did find some Jotun rocks. I've got another five. So we'll be able to start up again to collect another one. I'm probably going to have to build another house. So I'm going to need to get another large stick. Which isn't too bad. Oh god, I'll keep picking up everything around me. Oh, it's, it's starting to get cold now. I guess we're in the winter. Uh, let's add the fuel. Uh, let's hold to ignite so we're not dying of frostbite. And we should go grab some more. It's got quite a decent amount of fuel in it. Let's go to sleep for a minute. And the villager's just about to turn up. So let's wake up. We got new villager Asa. It just turns up in one of the shelters, I guess. I feel my strength increasing. Home sweet home. Okay. Open villager menu. Uh, your villagers builders by default. Okay, to give them jobs rather than build a build a production building and assign them to it. Okay, woodcutter's pit. Uh, to cut down trees and make him a woodcutter. To make him a builder again, dismiss him from his current job. Okay, value increases. Uh, leisure hours, housing points. Okay, optimistic outlook. Lovely jubbly. Issues. I'm homeless. Please give me a place to sleep. I'm a builder. You can assign me to the but you can assign me to the proper workplace. Work. Uh, da -da -da, okay. Everything seems to be okay. We need to figure out how to get the food. So we'll give you some of... Where the mussels? Where the mussels at? Where's the mussels? You can have some of these mussels. Let's give you some of those. And we'll go and grab some more mussels for ourselves. You should be able to grab your own food though, to be perfectly honest. Right. Let's build a home for this person and get their happiness up. I think, firstly, we, we should really build... Uh, okay, where are we going to build that? Let's build the gathering hut here and make them a gatherer, I'm guessing. So it's time to build something, okay. Oh, it's going to do the building for me, lovely. 
So I'll do all the gathering for you while you just do that crap. Good job. I mean, we're the leader of this village, and we're literally hauling all the stuff while this person just builds. I can do that. Why don't you just haul it? Maybe I'm not just figuring it out correctly. When the gatherers thing comes up, I'm guessing they're going to run and grab gathering food, etc. Let's pin the recipe. We need three long sticks, six sticks, and four ropes. So we need some more fiber, which means I have to go kill some more of those things, which means I need some more HP. Uh, let's see if there's more long sticks. There's a couple of sticks there. We need some of those. Okay, we should probably get this tree stump to get firewood. I found a flax bush. Here we go. So it's purple. And we can get some berries off of this bush as well. And let's pick up this long stick. So it's a purple flower like this one here. Is that it? Can I... No, can I not? No. Okay, it was that just that one. There was just that one weird flower that was the only one that was there. It had purple flowers and the purple leaves on it. So I'm guessing that was the one. Where Where is this builder? Asa, where you gone? Ah, it's actually running around gathering stuff. Are you making ropes or what? Ah, you're actually running around gathering over there. Lovely. Look at look at you going for it. Good job. Grab those sticks. Grab those sticks. We're going to have to go and kill some more. We need some more flax. We don't need thatch. We need flax. Where's the flax at? Let's head up on top of this place up here and see if we can find or at least see something at the top of this hill. Get a little bit of a vantage point. Oh, don't want to fall down off there. There is the flax plant right there. That's berries. Okay, not flax, just berries. Uh, there's some sticks, big rock. There's some jotan blood over there. Just waiting to get waylaid by some... Oh, look, there's, is that flax or is that berries? I believe that's berries again. Yeah. Oh, there's a stag. I don't know if I want to get involved with that stag. Are you... Are you flax? There you go. Flaxy, flaxy, flax, flax. Gathered flax seeds and gap. Oh, God, I don't want to fall down there. You no longer feel as strong, so I can't pick up as much stuff. But we're on day two, and we've got the builder actually running around gathering the stuff that we chopped down. So that is actually much, much better. Oh, God, why has it got an exclamation point? <gasps> don't want to fall off. That was, I thought I was going to die from falling damage, but it was okay. We didn't end up going anywhere. We're eating some berries. There's not enough food, really, if you think about it. Let's make some rope. What, what's up? What's up? What you got? What, what's the... Uh, I did not find any rope yet because I haven't made any yet. We're making some now. Don't worry. Oh, God. Kill it. Kill it. Oh, okay. We did much more damage that time. Lovely. We were crafting rope. Thank you very much. Craft rope. There we go. We'll make 10 because why not? Go to the inventory and we'll drop that down. We'll drop down a small stone. Fibers. We have some flax seeds so we can do some crafting later, I guess. Berry seeds. We'll drop the resin. Drop the stone. We'll drop everything here we don't need. Bark, bark, bark. We've got the firewood there. We'll put that into the fire in just a second. Uh, you're not fighting anymore. You're, you're really not fighting anymore. Where'd the rope go? We'll put it in there ourselves. Don't worry. We'll do the work for you. Because you're busy fighting with your bloody hoe and hammer. Okay, so there we have the gathering hut. Now let's figure out how to uh, manage workers. A sign. You're homeless. We, should, we need to build you a hut, man. We, need, we should build you a little hut. Let's build you a hut. Water well. Uh, we won't do that yet because we need to build our house. Shelter. Build. Okay. Try and get you somewhere near the fire. Right, over there. You're busy gathering stuff, so I'll do the building for you. It's not a problem. Right, what do we need now? Let's pin the recipe. We need two long sticks. Let's go get some long sticks. That person's going to gather a load of stuff for us around the area. And we'll just go back to our original job, picking up these logs. God, there's, there's a bad guy here. Nice, good job. Go pick up some berries. What did we get? We need to pick up those fibers because we always need fibers. I'm cold in that water. We need to grab some more sticks. 
So when a person's gathering, they don't just grab food. They're actually gathering all of the stuff from the area, like the resin and everything, and sticking them in those holes there. We need a couple more sticks to finish their house off to keep them happy. I suppose you will have to be helping them defend and stuff. So uh, like if there's only one and you get attacked, but it seems like waves are coming now rather than because they're coming straight to the base. That person's eating. Lovely jubbly. Let's build the last of this. It's probably going to need more after this, to be perfectly honest. Survive day three. We're on our way. Where's the rest of the bark? There's bark there. Bark there. I accidentally put too much bark in the fire. How much do we need? How much have we got? 37. Add fuel. Add fuel. We had the two fire things we added over there. That's going to keep us warm. Put this bark in there. We need two more bark. Where's the bark at? Grab us some bark. I wish you could assign them to gathering certain things. Maybe we'll build a tree cutting thing next. There's two bark. We'll grab the last bits of those bark. We'll grab this tree stump to give us the firewood so we're not completely dying of frostbite during the night. Was there only one firewood that came out of that? It seems like there was only one firewood. Okay, that, that's not going to do. Let's just finish off her little up so she can stop complaining about being homeless. Oh, we could have just assigned her to that one. Okay, so she's in shelter two. We're in shelter one, and she's still managed workers. You're still gathering. What have we got in here? Storage. Let's have a look at the storage. Veggie basket, fruit basket, material storage. We actually now have... So she's grabbing feathers and stuff. Nice. So we can make more arrows. I pressed the wrong button. Amazing. Uh, let's go manage workers. We'll go to the storages. Again, we'll go in here and we'll be able to stick our stuff now in here. Where's the switch container? Right click. Rope. There's nowhere to put that, I guess. Uh, flax seeds, feathers, and berry seeds. So it's not got anything higher than that. So it's just small stuff you can stick in there and not everything either. Uh, we got our berries. We got enough food. No veggies. We do have quite a decent amount of food right now. So maybe we'll put her on to something else. Let's just drink from the rainwater. So it's um, not max hate. Uh, bring it over here. I actually started looking at the magic. And you can craft yourself into raven form. It's used by villagers to go around and tell stories. Healing hut. A place where wooden vikings can come and receive care from a healer. That's pretty cool as well. You got your first rune stones with the fire's blessing. I'm guessing that's when you kill bosses. You can craft those. It's very much like Valheim. Very much like Valheim. Well, this is actually one of the longest videos I think I've ever done. Like, ever done. Uh, I think... So basically, I'm just going to talk about what I think about the game. It takes heavily from Valheim in the way that it runs, the way that it looks, the way that it feels. It feels like the map is actually quite small. So there might not be that much to do, especially in this early access amount of things to do. Is it worth buying? If you like games like Valheim that aren't as big as Valheim and it's right early doors, then yes, you should definitely have a look at this game. It's got uh, a decent like aspect with the NPC villagers. That's something a lot of games do not have these days, especially in survival games, having workable NPC villagers. And they seem like that they're working pretty damn well. This person's just running around gathering stuff for me. And if I built other huts, like uh, in the basic production, if we built stone cutter, a wood cutter's pit, all this kind of thing, then we can go, like upgrade to different houses, fire fisherman's house, hunter's house, and stuff like that. We can get them to do other things, like if we go into open storage, stick these five in here, we can actually probably get another one. So let's activate, and we want a dude. What have you got? Tireless vitality, resilient surge. We'll grab you and confirm. And then in 10 minutes, we'll have a second villager. And then by then, we would have wanted to build, say, I don't know, go in here and build... We need to build a water well. Uh, do you have to... Where can we build a water well? Why can't we build a water well? It doesn't seem like we can build that water well anywhere. Pack of... Okay, so last minute, we just get attacked. Get attacked at the last second. What happened over here? Where are we getting attacked from? Day three. So we do get waves sent against us. Is it over here? 
Nah, it's over here. What's over here? Uh, we got some janky graphics there. Where are they coming from? Where are they coming from? I just saw something over there. Why is... Where are they? Oh, there it is. There. No. That's her. She's looking at... Um, we're not getting attacked yet. It doesn't seem like we're getting attacked anyway. What's this up here? What are you doing? Are, we, are they in the rock? Are they stuck? What's happening? We're not getting attacked, I guess. Weird. We say we're getting attacked. Oh, there it is. There it is. There's a rabbit. Oi. Oi. Rabbit, come here. Where did it go? Why are you running that far? Why are you running far away? Are you not going to attack us? Or are you just going to run? Ah, I guess, well, these guys we're going to have to use a bow for. Is she getting attacked over there by something? She already won. Nice. Good job, Asa. Good job going there. Oh, look, look, look. She's chasing furry things over there. The floaty wisps. Uh, oh no, Wisp, I am out of here. You, you literally just went to attack them. Why are they all running away anyway? That's weird. So anyway, yeah, should you have a go? If you do like Valheim, you should definitely give it a little bit of a go. Uh, I don't know if it's uh, got enough content right now. We'll have to go a little bit further into the game. There's not that many buildings and stuff, but that might change as you gain and kill certain bosses, for example. Uh, that, that seems like the same thing that Valheim has. It looks like you can build runestones and stuff, so maybe you can build more buildings in the future. I'm definitely going to be playing this game a lot more to check it out. Uh, I'll do an updated video. This is only a first look uh, how it plays, how it looks, etc. Um, I'll do a more detailed one in a couple of days once I have some more time with it. I'll be able to run in and then not concentrate on having to speak all the time and all that stuff. So hopefully you'll have that in the next couple of days so you can check it out some more. I want to thank you all for watching. This is your one-stop shop for survival gaming. Uh, I'll leave in the village. Okay, good job. Um, in the middle of the thing. I want to thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Buy safe and avoid local chat scams.